what we got in common I mean, excuse me, woman May I ask you what you humming? You say that's Bob Marley Do that mean you fascinated by trees and all the different What's up, it's Economo And I'm bringing you the scoop with SayNoMore.com In the building, we got DJ420 What it do, what it do, man? <laughs> Alright, so, Mr. 420 Could you please tell the SayNoMore.com uh, Say no more <laughs> <laughs> Could you please tell the Say No More audience about yourself? Man, not much about me, man. <laughs> Born and raised in Atlanta. What's that town? Uh, Bankhead. Bankhead, okay. okay. West Side, man, the only one all day. Um, started smoking weed, <laughs> eight years old. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> eight, man. <laughs> then started, I started getting into the music. Family was more into music, so I was like, okay, it's gonna keep me out of trouble. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I started with the whole gang band, everything that was going, I was going down that path, and I was like, you know, music was like it's gonna keep me a little bit out of trouble. So, I remember going to a friend of mine's house, like a few DJs, because I was just sitting there, like a kid, just looking like, wow, what's he doing? Like, let's look at that, look at that, look at look what he's doing, look at this turntable thing he's talking about. I was like, oh, wow. So I started getting into it. I was like, okay, cool. So in my high school year, like in the years of high school, I was like, okay, I'm a DJ, like the prom. Oh shit. Oh my God, that was the worst show I ever, <laughs> that ended up being the worst thing ever. They had no DJ programs. I was running on a Windows media player. God, for the DJ system. And you said since that was your worst thing, I mean, that didn't, you know, Make you be like, damn, bro, I definitely don't want to do this shit. No more. <laughs> I mean, nah, actually, it pushed me to do better. I want to do better because I knew I was looking at everybody. I was like, high school, I was growing up like DJ Screams, all the hood rich tapes, you know, Shotty Low, everything. Cause I'm right down Bankhead. So, y'all was getting all the Shotty Low, Deep OL stuff when it was coming out. And like, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to push myself a little bit harder, go harder on everything. So, I ended up, a friend of mine told me it was a program. He's like, go get the virtual DJ. You go get it online, like free. I'm like, okay, cool. Ended up getting it. Next thing you know, I'm sitting in my room just hours just mixing, mixing. And then it's like, okay, let's do a mixtape. Like, I forgot who it was. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but they approached me, like, man, let's do a mixtape. I was like, cool, let's do it. So, got on my vert and everything. Started doing it, mixing down. Started getting better at what I was doing after like practice and practice and practice day in, day out. So then after that, we dropped the first tape, that Piff. Then later in life, I started I started stacking up, started working more, got my own set of tables, upgraded to the Serato. Then I was just mixing up a storm. To this day, I'm just mixing, just constantly. Tapes, tapes, working on club. Was well, in the club, we had a lot of issues with that, and I ain't gonna get into that situation. <laughs> but, oh uh, yeah, man. All I do is just sit, mix all day, man. Take care of my little family. Like mom, dad, got my girl at the house. <laughs> Take care of everything, man. Alright. So, so, for, you know, Serato or turntables? Um, well, Serato's a program. Yeah. For us also, you know, I like well, Matter of fact, Serato is virtual DJ. I'm not gonna lie, I like the bird. Okay. I like the bird. Okay. So, what do you feel is your strongest point? Being, you know, well, I mean, since you say you don't club, be, you don't club, is it as much as you used to back in the day, you know, with club DJing, but radio DJing or mixtape DJing, I mean, what do you feel like your strongest suit right now? Well, I'm taking over the game with that, I'm taking over. So how did you get into, you know, uh, as part of, part of like radio DJing? Because I mean, you can't just walk up to somebody like, man, I DJ, check this out. <laughs> um, I was actually approached by DJ Joker. He runs Urban 365 Radio. He's like, man, I've been seeing you do work, man. I see you breaking indie artists, you know, everywhere, everywhere. So, chopped it up with him on the phone. He gave me three days out the week, and I was just mixing, just releasing mixes, going live. At first, I was like super nervous. I was like, wow, radio, first time. I was like, oh my god, people are listening to me. But everybody had my full support with it. They were all there behind me watching. Mom and dad sitting there watching me mix. I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Dad sitting there like, oh, fuck up. I won't do it. I won't do it. Fuck up. <laughs> but, all right. So, as far as uh, since you say you know you break indies and stuff like that, 
What, um, like I asked, you know, in the previous one, what characteristics does that indie have to have in order for you to, you know, fuck with they fuck their music or help want to break their record or whatnot? Indie artists now these days, they have to work. Like, like they think everything's gonna be free for them. Nothing's gonna be free. I'm sorry. Like, for me to break your track, I'm not even trying to break your pockets. This is like a dub, and I'll push what you got if you're willing to work. If you're gonna promote yourself, I'll help promote you. You gotta put all your stuff to work right about now. You got artists right now rapping about what kind of cars they want to drive and the money they be having, but then go, you know, ask for a beat. Bro, can I get that beat for free? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the beat $15. What do you want this for free, though? Like, it's crazy. I'm quick to call them out now these days, man. Hey, like, don't shoot no music video saying you got bank and then walking to me broke. <laughs> I'm going to call you out. I'm get on every social network and call you out. <laughs> In your city, I'll call you out. <laughs> All right. So what is the hottest song right now for you? too many man <laughs> it's too many man everything's just hitting me like constantly you, you can do like a top three or top five something like that well, i can't even do that man. there's so many going on man i can't even do it all right, all right well what are the tracks that you're really fucking with right now at this point in time how about that um well definitely i'm fucking with Migos. okay yeah i'm doing what i see i'm working young thug and his movement stoner movement Still my movement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else? I don't know. Tip, yeah. Tip just released a track called Turn Up. No, Turn It. My bad. Yeah, damn, that's that's really pushing right about now. Video coming soon for that. So that's like my top right about now. Okay. See, so you, you came up with something. Yeah. You know, expect that. So. Name one DJ that inspired you while growing up. Because I know you say you grew up around the era of you know, your DJ screens and stuff like that. So, Drama. Drama? I met Drama one time. And he was like... Is he always loud? I mean, <laughs> is he always yelling at you? Nah, he's real. Like, drama <laughs> real cool, laid back, man. Drama, he's like... He looked at me. I was like, yeah, what's going on? I'm DJ. Um, what's going on? He's like, man. He's like, if you really want to do this, focus. Like, don't let nothing change you. Don't let money change you. Don't let people change you. Just stay your own path. That's all you got to do. Right. And I just took that to heart. And you've been there ever since. Yeah, man. Especially with that, you know, that 420, you definitely focus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. But, of course, we've come to the, I'm just being on a segment, so you know what time it is. I'm about to ask you a series of little questions, you know, so be as unbiased and opinionated as possible. And we're going to start with the first question. So, at DJing, who do you feel is better? DJ Scream or DJ Drama? Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I'm going to go with Drama. Drama? More experience. Uh, okay. Been in the game a little bit longer. You season. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, second, I'm just being honest question. Who would you smash first? Beyonce or Rihanna? Man, <laughs> fuck Beyonce, man. I'm going for Rihanna. Yeah, I right? did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for Riri right about now. What was it? What happened with Beyonce? God damn. Nah, man. Jake and had it. <laughs> okay. Too bougie or something like that? Nah, I don't like the dust. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You, you ain't want to knock the dust off <laughs> Now that mouth working. working. Oh, if that mouth working, I think about it. Okay. Well, we know what we got going on. We yeah. Okay. So, the third one. You know, the Nay Nay dance is took strong right about now. How do you feel about it? That's a major movement right about it's now. major movement. They working. I see them working. You fucking with it? Yeah, I'm fucking with it. All right. Catch me in the club every now and then, man. I might bust it every now and then in the club. You know, if I'm DJing it, I might see me in a boot jacket. Got to have nothing. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to stray away from the questions. I'm going to get back on track with you. So, as far as DJing, you know, what is one thing you have to have in the booth with you while you spend? We. I, I, I figured it out. Like, <laughs> kind of self explanatory at this point in time. But, <laughs> it used to be a bad bit, then that all changed. 
when I mean, you got your girl yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. I just yeah. had to do what's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so, what made you accept this? Ain't no more interview, man. You could have been, you know, still in that car trying to find a building, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I saw Say No More on Twitter. I saw everything booming. Checked out the YouTube channel. You know, I'm always on the social networks anyway. So, you know, came across it. I'm like, what do you want to do? So I was like, oh, shit. They want to do an interview with me? Like, what I do to be so I accepted? Like, damn. So I'm like, man, I got to come through. Accept it, man. I had to come through. Show love. Yeah, man, you know, we're we moving for the indies. So we know you support indies. You're breaking indies uh, tracks and stuff like that. And, you know, we like stuff like that here at SayNoMore.com because, you know, we home for the indies. So whatever we can do to help these indies out, we're going to bring in the right people and direct them in the right, you know, direction. Right now. So who has been the realest artist you've ever came across? Indie wise? Indie, major, whichever you choose. Oh, man. Ain't really met that man you got now. Major, major. <laughs> you know. Indies, like indies that rock with me. Young Flawless, Nick on the scenes, Young Tone, you know, everybody like that, man. They been rocking. They see the can, they see what I'm doing. I'm breaking records, mixtapes. They see you working. And I'm real quiet from what I do, man. I'm not out there with everybody. I'm not out there with like chains. I'm not all that happy stuff, man. If it's a rosary, I'm good, man. Just keep it simple. As long as you got your weed, I understand. Bro. I understand. So, we understand and like, here at Say No More, we respect, you know, the support the hippies, man. You know, when was the last time you blew it down? You blew it down before you got here, didn't you? About 10 minutes before I got here. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have any shout outs for the Say No More audience? Man, shout outs to all the DJs rocking with me, indie artists. Shout outs to SayNoMore.com. Yeah, shout out to my baby holding me down. I know she's getting tired of me mixing at night. <laughs> Uh, shout out to the man up man. He, he is a blessing to do what I do from where I started. It's been a blessing. You need to shout out your mom. It's cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's understandable. <laughs> All right, but DJ420, could you please give the Say No More audience your Twitter info, Instagram info, and just anywhere they can contact you through uh, social network. Contact me, my Twitter, and my IG are both at DJ420ATL. My Facebook, a little complicated. <laughs> D, capital D dot lowercase J dot 420 and actually spell it out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, we enjoyed you here. Send them all man. So we got DJ. DJ420 <laughs> in the building. <laughs> and this has been a carnival bringing you the scoop. Say no more.com, home for the indies. We out. Nigga, watch me aim that scope.